Okay, uh, so where we left off is uh, we is simply just created a controller with using the uh, nerves circle here and then we created a group on top and then uh, we moved the group to each of the rotation uh, rotation axis where the arm is going to move and rotate and uh, yeah uh, and we move not the controllers we actually move the group so that the controller is going to be stayed as zero here translation and rotation and all those numbers is going to be set it here uh, on the group and we didn't do any freeze transformations and now as you can see it's going to have set everything to zero here and even it's going to have that uh, rotation axis facing to the direction of the geometry okay next thing what we have to do here is we have to parent each of these controllers as an FK system because right now as you can see I tried to if I want to rotate it it's not going to rotate other controllers together it's just going to rotate the controllers what I have here so uh, the best way here is to select the group uh, before we do that why don't we name it because we are not really sure what is what here so uh, select this one and this is going to be my left uh, elbow this is my left shorter this is going to be my left wrist and finally this my last one is going to be my left thumb thumb okay so if you have more time why don't you just uh, keep on uh, naming all those geometries and even the groups here because it's going to be better if you it is is if it is easily identified by the name of uh, each uh, node anyway uh, so here we have uh, controllers and the geometry and right now as you can see we cannot when I start moving my arm I want to move everything together here and even if I try to rotate this part I want to rotate my hand too to with the uh, with the elbow area so how can we do that so uh, here we have controllers and what you can first simply think of is that we can just parent this controller to this shoulder so why don't we try that so simply select the elbow shoulder and then hit P and as soon as you do that what happens is that the group is left off here as you can see here the left elbow group is here and uh, uh, it's going to go straight parented to the shorter here and what this is not good is there's no reason why we have created the group here because it's going to be separated again and uh, and the controller because the group is going to be separated with the uh, elbow the value of this word area the word space here uh, the elbow is going to get all those information back to the translation and rotation as you can see here in this number so undo this and I want the group to be kept for each of this controller so the left elbow group I want to stay I want to keep that uh, group uh, on top of this elbow then how can we do this is simply just select the group instead of the controller and then shift select the shorter controller and then hit P so it's going to show something like there's going to be a controller a group always there's going to be a group on top and then on top of that group is going to have the uh, the shorter controller the same thing goes for the rest of the uh, arm area so even the wrist we don't want to directly just parent the wrist controller to the elbow because it's going to uh, on parent the group here which we want so select the group instead of the controller and then uh, shift select the elbow which is going to be this one here and hit P so that we have this uh, hierarchy system and even for the finally the last thumb select the group and parent it to the wrist area so now if I start rotating my uh, my controller 
we we can easily see that uh it's everything is parented to each other so that the arm is going to move as we expected next thing is going to be the uh, geometry how can we parent the geometry to the controller we have to simply uh, select the geometry here and uh, this is something you can just directly just uh, parent it to the controller we don't have to worry about the group group is something like it's going to be invisible in this viewport we, there's no uh, time I mean, there's animators doesn't have any uh, situation they have to select the group here so select the geometry just easily select the group corresponding uh, controller not the group and then hit P on your keyboard the same thing this have to be following this controller so select that select this controller hit P by the way uh, joint is going to be different joint doesn't do parenting to the controller it's, it's going to just bind it with uh, there's going to be under the rigging uh, category there's going to be skin bind skin we, we do this instead of uh, doing the parent so I'm going to explain why we do that and for the next tutorial so select this select this uh, controller hit P finally select the last geometry of the thumb select the controller and hit P so now what we have here is uh, we have simply made a uh, arm geometry moving with the controller and by the way uh, if we don't want to select the geometry we can just easily turn this off so that we don't have to worry about selecting the geometry anymore it seems like it's selected but actually when you see from the outliner it's just going to select the controller so now if I move rotate we can animate with this uh, arm character and before we finish up this uh, uh, tutorial I would just want to simply explain how to create the other part of the arm select the top part of the geom uh, the, the main top of the hierarchy just create another group group control G and it's going to create a group uh, to the center of the grid and then just duplicate this control D to duplicate and just set the scale X to negative 1 as soon as you do that you can have the other part of the arm and yeah and definitely you have to name this uh, in a different order because right now uh, even the left arm has the uh, left name here so what we can do here is we can just simply select the top part of the hierarchy and then go here under the uh, modify there is going to be search and replace name and just find left and replace it to right and everything that has the name left is going to be a replace to right and hit apply and as you can see all those names is going to be set to right so now if I just select everything here and if I start rotating this it's going to have the symmetrical movements of the left and the right arm